Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hot Topics Plus, where we take a deep dive into the articles you will find in your hot topics in the news in your advanced magazine. I'm joined here today by everyone's very favorite, Teacher Gabe. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm everyone's favorite teacher, but among all the teachers whose names might be Gabe, I, I'll, I'll accept that. And I'm very happy to be here, David. And I'm, wonderf I'm wonderfully happy to have you You're here. You're wonderful, too. I, well, thank you very much. And I'm especially happy to have you uh, for this hot topic because we're talking about the Cannes Film Festival. That's right. Uh, and now, why are you happy to have me here? Because you know I like movies? Yeah, I know that you love movies, you love theater. I've made you watch some pretty weird movies before also, so I know that you can appreciate some more artistic or independent films. That's right. Uh, the yeah. last one we saw uh, was a 1981 film. I think it was called My Dinner with Ed, or... <laughs> Wrong! My, my Dinner with... My Dinner with Andre. Oh, Andre. The the film. Yeah, My Dinner with Andre. Okay. It's a wonderful film. I it is. I recommend it to all of you guys if you really want to challenge your English. Uh, but this particular film festival is, is quite interesting. It's got a long history, uh, and many of the kind of great films that we think of, things like the Mission. Have you heard of The Mission? I saw The Mission. You saw The Mission? Yeah, I always thought the Chinese translation for this film title was kind of like strange because it's called Jiao Hui, mm, right? This is church. Yeah, which is church, and right. yet it's called the mission. So it's a lot more than just you know talking about a church. That's right. Uh, but that's although right. a mission is not just Ren Wu, it's also what we call some churches as well. So we're talking about this mission, this place there. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it was an incredibly uh, well-made film. It won an award at the Cannes Film Festival. A uh, little side note: at mm. my wedding, I had uh, Gabriel's oboe play as my wife came um, down, well, she, usually you come down an aisle, but we were at a place where there was a pond, so oh. she wrote across the pond. That famous song from The Mission, you should check it out. That's beautiful. She wrote a pos she was rowed across a pond. That's right. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. That's wonderful. The fact that that song showed up in your wedding just shows how how much of a lasting impression the movie made upon the world. Right? Yeah. I, I, I want to ask you though, would, mm -hmm. uh, would you ever consider, now you can't really go to the Cannes Film Festival, just buy a ticket and go. It's only, it's an invite only. Yeah. But would you be interested in going to that film festival? Oh man, for sure, David. Mm. I would love to go to one of these kinds of festivals. I mean, especially mm. something like the Cannes Film Festival. Mm. Yeah. 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 I, I, I've always thought of wanting to have like a, a, a list of movies that you, know, you want to see. If you guys want to check out more films from the Cannes Film Festival, check it out online. You can make a little list of movies that you want to see. Thank you guys so much for joining us for today's Hot Topic. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where we will look at Running Remote, the largest remote work uh, conference in the world. See you next time. <laughs>